Don't. Justin, show us a kettlebell well, shoulder press. Because first these first are before he shows us this, let's explain. Uh, recently on the podcast, we talked about uh, unconventional lifts, right? Right, right. So different different types of tools that we'd utilize in the gym. And I think kettlebell, I think we could all agree, is probably one of the best tools. One and of probably, my favorites. And one of the most underutilized, I think. I think this yeah. should be a, a staple exercise in almost every. Well, there's a few things that I use the kettlebell for. And one of them is definitely pressing, just because I love the way that I could get that natural shoulder rotation involved in a press. So you'll find that it, it tends to mimic a lot more of that natural shoulder movement ability. Um, well, I'll tell you what, since I've incorporated kettlebell shoulder presses, I find them better. I like them better than the dumbbell shoulder press. I feel more stable um, in my other presses. I feel stronger and I've developed my delts a little bit better from using them. So. But you got to do them right. Right, you got to do them right. And so they are more technical. There's a process behind the kettlebell. Um, whenever I'm trying to move the kettlebell or rest the kettlebell in a position, I'm trying to think about keeping it towards the midline of my body. Um, with the kettlebell press, what I want to do is I want to keep it uh, start basically in the rack position. So the rack position I will go ahead and demonstrate is basically if I take the kettlebell and I start by swinging it into position, I'm gonna keep my hips and then I'm gonna rest it here on my chest. So, so that's gonna, called the rack position. This is the rack position. So now, I wanna- What I notice here- Notice how tight he is in everything. I was just gonna say, that's what I noticed. I noticed how, how tight the arm is, the wrist is straight, the arm is against the body, so you're not trying to like hold it up with your arm. You're just staying like one unit. Does that, right. does that sound right? That sounds good. So from here, I wanna be able to keep this vertical line as straight as I can. So to do that, I'm going to have to rotate my wrist and I'm going to have to rotate my elbow and then my shoulder in order to produce that. So All in one fluid movement. It's going to be one fluid movement that just goes up into extension. So it's a nice, a nice natural movement for the shoulder to do. So we take it here, we go up to press with rotation. And now at the top, I want to make sure that I'm packing my shoulder by depressing that shoulder blade down. So show me unpacking. Like what the opposite would be? So yeah, I'm so reaching. Look, you don't want to be reaching up with the this shoulder is, blade. This is, yeah, this is reaching the top, unpack. Now pack the shoulder. So basically he's depressing the scapula. So that's where you doing. want to be, right here. So I have a lot more control in this with any kind of load that's overhead. I really want to make sure that I'm stabilizing properly, supporting my back by squeezing my glutes, altering my hips so now I can engage my core as well to brace my spine. So now I'm going to take it from this position and I'm gonna do the reverse. I'm gonna rotate it back down and with the it. wrist, right back to the rack position. Awesome. What is there a couple of shoulders a rep or two okay. of what it should look like speed wise and so tightening, bracing, press with rotation. Try to maintain that nice upright posture. Excellent. And it Excellent. looks something like that. How do you bring it down? What's the right way to put it to the floor, by the way? This is important now. Yeah. Kettlebells so now are from here, unwieldy. Right. If you go through and you do a proper swing, I want to sort of emulate that on the way back down as well. So I'm going to kind of throw it out and catch it with my hips. Oh, there you go. Right between the legs. And then Excellent. we bring it down. This is my favorite version of an overhead shoulder press. I like it as much as I like a barbell press, and I like it more than a dumbbell press. It feels more natural to me. This is, in, in fact, this is what I do primarily now no, uh, yeah. for my overhead presses. Huge fan. If this is not in your guys' routine right now, this is something that needs to become in your routine. For, in It'll your routine add for a sure. lot of benefit to the rest of your lifts as well. Excellent. Nice.